chair will now recognize Karen Carroll to place the county prince of television in the nomination for Freehold.
burning inside. And I'm ready to explode, and I hope everybody in this room is too. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, we are in big trouble if we let any of these 2012 Republicans take office. Now, I think the two-party system is healthy, and I think within our Democratic Party, there's diversity, and we don't always think the same. And it wasn't too many years ago that the other party, the Republican Party, there was a moderate room to that party, and there was that same diversity. And with two healthy political parties, we, we got a great conversation, we got great legislation, and we got great leaders from both sides of the aisle. My friends, that Republican Party no longer exists. We have to ask this one. Would there be a poem in the modern Republican Party for Abraham Lincoln? The White House now? I don't, I don't think so. This radical party believes in government only for the well off. Banks, corporations come before people. As a matter of fact, they actually think that banks and corporations are people. Now, see, Councilman Buck is there, and both of them and I sit alone, the only two Democrats left in Bound Brook. And we've seen the Republicans in Bound Brook give a 15% raise to our $200 an hour attorney. But when it comes to the police, the public works, and the other borough employees, they're just wondering if they come to work the next day if they're going to have the job store. Now, if you're a female, I don't know why one would even consider a Republican. First of all, they, want, they don't want to have access to birth control anymore. And if you ever get pregnant, if you ever get pregnant, they want to probe you, they want to turn you over, and do whatever they need to do to force you to have that child. And then, if you decide to have that child, they're not going to be there for you to help bring it into the world. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not calling a Republican sexist, because it goes much further than that. God forbid if you ever get over this country anymore. You know what they want to do, and we know what they want to do. They want to give tax breaks to the rich and take away health benefits from the elderly. Now, it's not just at the federal level. The, the radicalness of the GOP has filtered down to Somerset County. Now, it's okay to have government sub subsidized golf courses, but the hard working class people in my community, in communities like Boundbrook, Manville, Raritan, and Somerville, and Franklin, they need to get to work. They need to roads without power. Well, they need that snow removed in the morning, so they can get to work because a lot of people live in the check paycheck. But most of all, they need local police, police to keep their neighbors safe and give a place for the children to play when they're trying to make a living. Now, God forbid, if you're a Republican elected official and you think out of the box and you think different from the collective, now, we all know Senator Kim. There's worse Republicans than he. He had the audacity to support cap and trade. He had the nerve to care about the environment, and he decided to vote for the Republicans, I mean, with the Democrats in the Senate. You know what those crazy Republicans did? They wrote a call, and they did this right here in Somerset County. They wrote all the voters, his voters, and let them know what their fallen soldier did. Now, I have to ask you a question. Can we trust these Republicans to run our county? Can we? No. 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 And we can't trust them to run the country, and we can't trust them to run our individual communities. Now, I think we all agree we have a great president. He is a personal hero of mine. He won this county four years ago by pretty good total. And we should be proud that under his leadership we can wake up in the morning and night and Lana is dead and GM is alive. Yeah. 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 You remember that slogan, yes we can. Now I want you to think about it. It's yes we can. It's not yes we can. 
it's yes, we can. So we need to work together to get reelected, and I can assure you that on these coattails, we will all get it. And with the Democrats from top to bottom, and the Republican, the radical Republicans at the right, we'll be able to really get things done. We need to get the streets, get the facts out. You know, there's an old saying, and it goes, we don't hang together, we're going to hang alone. Let's stop the Republicans from putting the use on our country. I'm ready to hit the road, I'm ready to, to, to walk with any candidate. I ask for your help.
I know the odds, and I know we're going to beat them on November 6th. It won't be easy. It's never easy to start to count. But neither are the challenges our friends and neighbors face each and every day in each and every community. As the famous line goes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. I'm ready to begin that journey. Are you ready to join me?